Do you have $50 in your pocket? Then you can be a bookkeeper. Hey guys, today we're going to talk all about how much money it takes to actually become a bookkeeper, to open your bookkeeping business, and what you really need to make sure that you can get started. Here's the thing, it's really great um, that with bookkeeping, you actually don't need that much investment in order to get your business up and running. If you've ever heard the phrase, it takes money to make money, in most cases that is true. But bookkeeping is a job that you really don't need that much in startup um, supplies. And so I'm just gonna run through today what you really need to start your bookkeeping business and outline what you might wanna buy, what you probably should start to invest in, and um, what you should expect as far as expenses goes. So the first one that I'm gonna say up front is that the QuickBooks Online program um, that I've talked about a couple times in my videos, and I will link my tutorial or my um, explanation of the exam up here, is completely free. For you as the accountant, there is no charge in you starting up that account. There would only be a charge on your end if you wanted one of your clients to sign up for QuickBooks through you. And so there are some discounts associated with that in that you get a lower price for your client if QuickBooks charges you as the accountant. And then you can build that into your monthly rate or to the cost, um, your cost for being a bookkeeper for your client. Um, and there are lots of explanations on that on YouTube. I'll try to link one down below. Um, but that is free. So first off, that software does is not gonna cost you a dime. And even better than that, if you're doing paper and pencil method of bookkeeping for someone, obviously that would just be the cost of the office supplies. So let's start there. Basically, your office supplies, if you do any paper and pen clients at all, is really just gonna be some notebook paper, a couple of pencils, maybe some colored pens if you're OCD, or some highlighters if you really like to get things nice and color-coded. But it's not that many office supplies that you need. One thing that I think is helpful, but you probably already have, and if you don't, then I don't think you need to go out and buy it as a printer with some ink, but that's really if you just want to be able to have hard copies of anything for yourself. If you're totally fine with an electronic file system, then there's no need for you to have a printer. I would say that a scanner app on your phone can be really helpful if you are doing contracts that you print out um, or that you write down uh, some things that you wanna just scan and have a digital file for, but those can be free or you can have a free trial of a scanner app before you pay for it. So I wouldn't think that that's something that you really off the bat need to mark down as an expense. So, so far, all you need is some basic office supplies and that's only if you have clients that are gonna do paper and pen method or that you specifically wanna have hard copies and paper and pen copies for. To be honest, there aren't a lot of other costs. Since your software is free and office supplies are basic, most of us already have some around the house, the only other thing that you need to think about with logistics are maybe your business license and business insurance. So you can um, see a lot of people talk about business insurance, like for instance, my husband has business insurance on his landscaping business because if he were to be mowing a yard and a rock came up and hit a window or a door, he wants his insurance to cover that. That's actually happened a couple of times. But to be honest, for something like a bookkeeper, you don't need that much insurance. There are specific types of insurance that would be helpful. Things like there's an insurance so that if you were to have someone's um, bank login electronically and your computer were to get hacked, that you wouldn't get um, sued for that. Or um, there are things with liability insurance of uh, if you had done someone ta someone's taxes incorrectly, things like that to protect you um, for errors or omissions in, in data. Um, so some of the insurance is important. I have not signed up for an insurance yet. Um, I think that I will in the future and I'll try to add that information into a video. But um, the business license is going to vary. For my county, my business license was $30. So it's really not that expensive. I think that there are some places where business insurance or business licenses are closer to $100 or um, upwards of $50 to $75. If that's the case, then your startup cost is gonna be a little bit more because of that. But like I said, for my county, it was $30 for a business license. I don't have business insurance yet. And so really all I'm at is about $35 or $40 right now with some office supplies and my business license. The other thing that you might want are business cards. Now, 
To be honest, a lot of my marketing so far has been on Facebook and has cost me zero dollars. Some I've sent emails to, but again, an email account was completely free through Gmail. And so business cards are about seven or eight dollars, so not very much at all. But if you wanted to get some, again, you're only at maybe $45 right now with what you've spent on your business with the things that we've covered so far. The other thing that you might have a fee for is if you open a bank account for your business, they may might have a open opening fee or an opening balance that you have to have in that amount in that checking account. Mine for my business bank account was $25 and so I'm right at around the $65, $70 mark of what I've invested in my business so far. Side note, this is assuming that you already have a computer. This is kind of a given nowadays that most people have a computer for their personal use anyway and so you would just use that for the business. If you don't have a computer, you're definitely gonna have to go get one of those and add that to your startup costs. Now this brings us to what other large investments might you have in your bookkeeping business? And there is one that I talk about in my QuickBooks review video, and this is the education side of bookkeeping. There are a lot of people that really want you to buy into their training program on how you can become a bookkeeper. And if you have that money to invest from the beginning, go for it, especially if you feel like it's gonna boost your confidence. But these can run a pretty hefty price. Some from $200 to $500, all the way up to $2,000 for a program like Bookkeeper Launch. I'm not doubting that they have some good information in there, but I'm not quite ready to invest at that level, and you might not be either. So everything that we've covered so far is right at about $60 to $70 to start your bookkeeping business, and a couple of those you can cut out completely if you just want to be electronic, like our office supplies. What I'd like to say here is that this is a side hustle that you can do completely debt free. If you've ever listened to any of Dave Ramsey's videos or Christy Wright's videos, one of their biggest proponents is for a debt free lifestyle. And my husband and I are definitely on that track. All we have left to pay off is our mortgage and my student loans and we're gonna be debt free, which we're so excited about. So a side hustle of bookkeeping was really something I was looking forward to is that I didn't have to spend any money or very little money in starting this up so that it can gain traction and make me more money than I put in. I hope this video has been helpful as you start your bookkeeping business and what money you need to start it. If you have any comments or uh, questions about what I've talked about in this video, leave them down below. And while you're down there, hit subscribe. That would really help me out. And um, watch some of my playlists on my week by week videos of how I became a bookkeeper.